Hey Canucks fans, hope you are well. Here to break down all of the goals from last night's massive 3-1 Canucks win over the Edmonton Oilers. For all intents and purposes, sews up first place in the Pacific Division. All the Canucks have to do in their final two games is get one single point or have Edmonton not win any of their final three games. Also, tonight can be at a show, so not streaming tonight. So I'll be back tomorrow, Canucks After Dark at 10 p.m. with Parker and my own show at 11, 15 p.m. Finally, with only four goals to show, there's gonna be a lot of non-goal highlights in here, so just a warning. So last night, setting up, I actually live streamed. I did a watch along, it was good. Uh, it started off, the Oilers dominating. They have a power play early, and right here, you see Kane to Dreisaitl, and a nice save off the one-timer by DeSmith. DeSmith was dialed in early. Same power play, this is the second unit now. McLeod buzzing around. Um, trying to get, uh, got a couple shots on DeSmith. DeSmith holding the fort. Not the power play, but it looks very similar. <laughs> that one is Holloway coming down Main Street. DeSmith making a nice save. I think the next one is, um, yeah, Connor Brown with two, two opportunities. One, two, and DeSmith still looking strong. Yes, we have not seen a highlight yet in the opposing zone. Still, uh, this is Dreisaitl. This is Bouchard. DeSmith makes a really nice save with the glove. Then it gets back to Ekholm. And Ekholm takes a slapper, and then DeSmith stops that as well. So, a really good sign that, to see that DeSmith was ready to go, was sharp, and was focused. Finally, a uh, Canucks highlight. Horrible giveaway here by CC. Bluger finds Mikheyev. Mikheyev one-times it, but Skinner, full credit, makes a great glove save on that one. Finally, here's the goal. First goal. You see Zadorov pick up the puck. Besser off the ice. Lafferty jumps on, comes over the line. Nurse does not close the gap. And then it's, it's, it's Sam Lafferty with a beautiful wrist shot past Stuart Skinner, who's admittedly probably cheating out a little bit too much on the short side. Two Canucks fans looking good. And um, they made a point, actually, of doing the intermission that Stuart Skinner basically was looking at Darnell Nurse, um, almost glancing at him, asking why he didn't close the gap. So here we go. This is Adorov. Nice little pass to... So it's really Lafferty. This is Lafferty's goal. He comes in, and Nurse... Uh, you can see what Skinner's talking about. I, I, I get it. Maybe Nurse was worried about the, the pass to Miller. Miller does a great job driving the lane, and that makes Nurse have to hesitate. Maybe you, Nurse didn't think his, his defense partner was going to get over here. I think it's CC. So look at that. Right there, Nurse is kind of stuck in no man's land. He's not taking away the pass. Well, I guess he is, but he's certainly not challenging the shooter. And then, boom, beautiful shot past Skinner. And there's Skinner kind of looking at Nurse as Nurse skates away. Here's another good example. And I, I guess... You can't really blame Nurse because if he doesn't think CeCe's going to get over to, to Miller in time, he's got to take that, right? So it, that's tricky. And then right there, I think, is where um, he is in no man's land. He's almost in line of, of Skinner's view. But look how far Skinner is out to the left. Uh, maybe not respecting the, the, the pass to the middle. Lafferty's not going to get it across to Suter. So really, he's, his only option is to shoot. So I'm not sure why Skinner was playing so far left on that goal. I'm not complaining. And can I go up one nothing after being dominated for the first part of that first period for sure. I think that's fair to admit. Second period, it's a Lindholm line with Garland and Joshua. They get a nice chance here. Lindholm to Garland. Garland, not the hardest shot I've ever seen, but Skinner makes a good save. And uh, But this line played really well. I was really impressed with Lindholm's game, especially defensively. Then here's a chance for, uh, no, this is the next goal. So Myers gloves it down and he just puts a beautiful pass onto Suter or PS Shooter, as I like to say. And Suter re, uh, deflects it, redirects it past Stuart Skinner. And this is, I didn't appreciate how good of a play this was by Myers until I saw it a couple times on replay. So you, you'll see that Myers bats it down in the zone, in the neutral zone. And he's, uh, so this is just after he did it. But he's six, six foot seven with his reach, he's probably like nine foot eight. And then look at this Suter drives the net, much like Miller did in that first goal. And then Myers, this is not a shot. If it was a shot, he'd come this way, but instead, he puts it down the middle, right there, so Suter can deflect it. There's no way that puck's going close to the net. It's kind of going like this. But then he, he puts it towards the middle, and Suter does the perfect thing. And look at that, right there. Just a nice deflection, and it gets past Skinner, again, on the same side, on his blocker side. Here's a really good look at it. Myers, beautiful pass to Suter, and yeah, a really nice deflection right there. And look, so maybe, maybe the book is to put it on Skinner's blocker side. I'm not sure. So Edmonton does cut the lead in half here. Some good work by Edmonton. Hronik kind of slow getting back, you can see. And then a shot from Nurse 
that actually gets double deflected. It looks like it's a high stick from Evander Kane. It's not. It's a good goal. But they actually give um, they give a assist to Connor Brown, who was also in front of the net. And actually, when you see the replay, I think Connor Brown thought that he scored originally, but it's a double deflection. Brown to Nurse. So uh, sorry, Brown to Kane. So there's Hirona kind of a little slow out of the out of the um, corner there. And this is Brown coming this way, crossing that way. This is Nurse coming this way. So what happens? is Brown actually gets his stick on it right there. And then somehow, it, you know, Nurse is already trying to deflect it. it oh, not Nurse, I got, I got to say that. Brown deflects it first and then Kane deflects it after this. But watch Brown's reaction. He does this, the double fist pump. I think he thought that he scored. Watch, watch. Don't worry about the goal. Watch, watch Brown here. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's again. Hronik, I would have loved him to be a bit, uh, you know, quicker to the front of the net. But again, here comes Brown, here comes Kane. So it actually goes off Brown's stick there, down, and then it goes off Kane's stick, pass to Smith, and here's the key, watch Connor Brown's celebration. Look at that, look at that. He's saying he scored, he's not even looking at, actually, they're like synchronized goal celebrations. Brown's doing this, Kane's doing this, and only one of them gets the goal, and it's Kane. And here's a good look at Kane's deflection. Nice goal, gotta give him props for, for going to the net. Third period now, so the Canucks are up 2-1. That's dry side with a backhand and then a, another save. Um, so dismiss still playing off Hyman. Dismiss still playing well. The Oilers, you got to admit, they do look less dangerous without Connor McDavid. Here's a chance for Besser. He um, puts it back to Zadorov, and then it's Pierce Suter that just missed the open net, but it was a bang bang play. Um, so still two one Canucks. Now two minutes left. Here goes the the Stuart Skinner just gone to the the bench. That's Garland to Lindholm, to Joshua, no mistake, and the Canucks seal the deal right here. What was interesting about this play is that, uh, it's not Skinner's fault, but basically as soon as Skinner got to the net, um, the Canucks uh, got to the bench, the Canucks were breaking out and scoring the race. That's kind of why they're showing them. And they'll show, there you go, Skinner, watch. So he gets to the bench, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then already they are scoring. So here's another look at it. Car I, I like these unselfish plays. So Garland's there. He's going to get checked here. So he gives it to Lindholm. Lindholm could have easily tried to take, pull it to his forehand and take a shot there. But he gives it to Joshua, who's, who's got a better angle. No one in front of him. And Joshua makes no mistake. So a huge win for the Vancouver Canucks, defeating the Connor McDavid less Edmonton Oilers. Casey DeSmith played really, really well in the win, making 32 saves on 33 shots. And you also had secondary scoring from Sam Lafferty, Pia Suter, and Dakota Joshua. I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovalander, legendary Andrew Chang, and Hall of Fame and Franchise members for your support. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And by the way, thanks to all of you who came out to my watch along yesterday. I had a lot of fun, a quick and tidy three and a half hour long stream. So let me know as you go, what highlights stood out to you? Was there something that I broke down for you that you missed? Or is there something that I missed? Let me know in the comments. I love to read your, your replies, especially to these types of videos. And then as always, on your way out, you can subscribe, you can like the video, you can leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and most importantly, which highlights stood out to you and why? Again, no show tonight. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.